many of our patients are uh, athletes who are involved in sporting accidents, sporting injuries. Sometimes it can even be normal wear and tear from the rigorous things that they do while playing their sports. In Tyler's case, he uh, had an injury to his knee and even though it was surgically repaired, you know, he had a torn anterior and posterior cruciate and we know that improving the oxygen delivery to these oxygen starved tissues will increase the rate of healing by providing high pressure oxygen to those structures. Well it was the last game of the year and it was a kick turn and I was running the ball and my leg got caught and it snapped back and I hurt my LCL, my ACL, my PCL and I tore the muscle off my bone and I came here and Dr. Seria did my surgery. We feel very fortunate that we have access to a place like this so that our patients whether they're recreational, uh, high school, or professional, can uh, take advantage of this technology. Uh, in this particular case, uh, this is a young man with Division I prospects that had a complete knee blowout playing football. Uh, so the surgery was to reconstruct almost everything in the back of the knee. He also had some nerve damage. Uh, it was very clear to me after we did the surgery that he will really benefit from hyperbaric oxygen treatments. We've had cases where people have been told they wouldn't play for six months but have been back playing their sports in two and a half to three months because of the accelerated healing from the hyperbaric oxygen. I've been coming to therapy for like five days and it's speeding up my recovery and it's healing real fast. We've realized that more and more people are would benefit from hyperbaric oxygen therapy to uh, accelerate their healing after sporting injuries, after soft tissue injuries. Normally there's a lot of swelling and bleeding and bruising, and in this particular case I haven't seen any. That's either because I'm a really, really good surgeon or we're really getting some benefit from this hyperbaric oxygen.